What is up guys, welcome back to another Geek of What video. I hope everyone is having a great week and today, at long, long last, I've got some more smart home tech stuff in for review. This is one of TP-Link's new uh, wireless colour changing bulbs that work with both uh, Google's Home and Amazon's Alexa voice control units. They don't cost half as much as Philips Hue bulbs. Now some of you may remember a little while back I covered uh, some bulbs from a company called Yeelight which are even cheaper than these at like 10 to 15 pounds a piece. These come at more than 20 to 30 pounds mark and I will leave links for US and UK regions below but do have a few massive notable advantages. The bulbs seem built really really well and are actually really compact and not that much bigger than any LED uh, bulbs that you would normally get sort of non-smart connected ones. They also don't require a hub and like the Philips Hue stuff which will save you money and means this will literally work directly with your phone or uh, Google's Home or Amazon's Echo, Echo Mini with absolutely no problems straight out of the box. Uh, the Wi-Fi receivers in them seem to be fairly good in a corner of the house where the internet connectivity isn't that great they still manage to pick it up with fairly low latency which is very impressive. The unboxing experience is actually really pleasant you get a pamphlet with all your information installed in this kind of Apple-esque card pouch and in there you'll find all of your instruction manuals and all of that other good stuff which you may actually need for the setup of this bulb. That being said it isn't too complex and I'll walk you through it quickly now. First of all you're going to need to download the TP-Link CASA app for iOS or Android. This is an essential step before you even get into the Alexa or uh, Google Home sections. You then need to create an account which I know will annoy some people but that's just how it goes. That is going to be needed later on uh, which you can then link your bulbs to. TP-Link also do these really nice smart plugs which I have a dedicated video on soon uh, which also works through that very same application. First off you just need to connect a new device with the little plus in the corner of the screen and then select smart bulb and it will go through and scan and find that. I did have a couple of issues admittedly with setting up this first bulb which meant the automatic setup process just didn't seem to work. That wasn't a problem, I clicked setup manually and chose the Wi-Fi network emitted by this bulb which was handily named TP-Link Smart Bulb. 406 something something and it did it all absolutely seamlessly. It was literally a 30 second process and is far more simple than a lot of other smart home tech I've seen on the market. Now that you've set the bulb up through the TP-Link app, some of you may want to connect it to Google Home or Amazon Echo. You do that simply by going into either the Google Home or Amazon Alexa apps, going into the smart home device section and then add in the TP-Link CASA app in as a service. You log in with that login that you made just a moment ago and everything works flawlessly. I'll get onto the voice commands in a moment's time. The first way to control these bulbs is of course through TP-Link's app and the actual control process is just as simple as the setup process. I can't say enough good things about it. You can easily turn on or off the plugs or the bulbs from TP-Link with a single tap once you're in the app or click on them for more settings or control. Once you've selected the bulb in question, you can scroll through the different colour temperatures of whites, ranging from a warmer yellowy orange right down to a cold blue light, or select the colour tab for a range of colour options. This bulb does of course have the full RGB colour spectrum, and it works really, really fantastically. You can either choose from one of their pre-determined exact colours through a simple grid system, or go into the massive full colour picker and use your finger to precisely pinpoint the exact colour you are looking for. It works absolutely superbly and it's just a superb implementation. Not only that, you of course also get the uh, Amazon Alexa and Google Home control, which I'm going to demonstrate now with a Google Home device here and the smart bulb over here. You can, for example, turn the bulb on by going, Hey Google, turn on smart bulb. Sure, turning the smart bulb on. And it will turn on the smart bulb just like so. It's super easy, it's super simple and works superbly. You can go, okay Google, make smart bulb blue. Okay, changing the smart bulb to blue. And it will make that smart bulb blue pretty much instantaneously. The lack of latency is really quite astounding. You can of course also uh, make the bulb white by going, okay Google, make smart bulb white. There you go, changing the smart bulb to white. Which is hurting my eyes being situated quite this closely. And of course you can change the brightness by going, OK Google, reduce the brightness of smart bulb. Sure, dimming the smart bulb. And it will dim that bulb uh, far less bright than it previously was, even if you can't quite tell that on camera. 
Now I've turned it off just for a moment because it really was hurting my eyes, but I think that demo just summarises this bulb for me. Actions speak louder than words as they say. It worked first time and flawlessly with no glitches or crashes or problems. Everything is just seamless. The app's fantastic and the Google Home and Alexa integration just seems in my experiences to work absolutely flawlessly. That sums this bulb up. It's reliable and strikes a superb balance between uh, the Philips Hue stuff, which is really expensive, and the cheaper stuff from Ulight, which is a far more complicated setup process and a bit more clunky of a user experience. If you want to pick up a smart bulb, this is the one I'd go for. And if I was kitting out my entire house, which I may well still do, then this is the bulb I would pick. I will of course link it in the description below for Amazon in a range of regions and retailers, as well as like B&H and a couple of others, if you'd like to pick one up and try and get the best possible deal. Let me know what you think of this smart bulb in the comments section below. I'd love to make this smart home tech series weekly, so smash that like button if I haven't already said that, to see that series really come alive. Subscribe for more from me, follow me on Twitter, it's at GeekAwatt, and as always, we'll see you in the next GeekAwatt video.